Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to the fifth episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Now, oh my headset has fallen off my head. That's good. That's a good start. That's a good start. My headset has fallen off my head. Okay, that was a uh, slightly stupid. Um so yeah, um today we are continuing on where we left off. We left off after doing two unique classes here at Hogwarts Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts. Um and yeah, uh, as I said, uh, if you, if, as I always say every video, if you do come across one of these videos, be sure to leave a like and or a comment letting me know what you think of the video and how I can improve, minus the mic quality, please. That would be very nice of people. And yeah, let's see where we can go now. I believe I planned on doing Crossed Wands, round one. I should speak with Luke and Brattleby about the Secret Dueling Club. I think that's going to be our first mission of the day. As I said, if I'm not gonna be doing I'm not gonna super focus on main stories, but like I'm just not gonna go out and look for side missions, you know what I mean? Like I think the way I'm gonna do it is any side missions that are put any side missions that are automatically put into um my um any time missions are automatically put into my quest log, uh, I will do. Other than that, I will not look for um, quests. But yeah, we will see how that goes as the game goes. I might change my mind at some point through the game, but I can't say for sure. Right. For this note, let's go do Crossed Wands. First side mission of the game. This game is just so gorgeous, isn't it? Well, that noise, that kind of scared me a little bit, I won't lie. Right, we move. Uh, so, obviously, I do know what Crossed Ones is. Crossed Ones is... Um, obviously, a side mission, but it is a duel. Our first actual, like, proper combat encounter. Did I just see... Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swing. Whee! I'll get you for this. Okay then. <laughs> I will obviously explore and look around somewhat. I did see this pop up. Onto toilets. Unless it's in dire straits, it is probably best to avoid this particular toilet as it is allegedly one of his favourite pranking spots. Eight experience, and that is two of eight, I think I saw there. Two of eight of the collections. Haunted toilets. I still don't know what this thing does. I don't know what spell. Don't spoil it in the comments if you do see and think. You're dead. Just let her hit you. Um. Yeah, I don't know what it does. I'm hearing stuff, like little noises around me. I don't know what it is though. Look, you can, every, every bridge you come up to, you can just look out and see there's such beauty in the game. Clock tower courtyard. Lucan's just over there. No, I do know. If you use a statue, is it Levioso? Levioso. It is. So you see these statues like that, and you can use Levioso to get a skill guy page. That. It's experience, 20 HP. Click Pilgrim Rages, 2 of 8. That is level 3, baby. Right, let's go talk to uh, Luke and Brattleby and start our first side quest. 
Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I am the best. I say I did take him down a peg. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. Oh. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Uh, I'll join your club. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, Ooh. care to step into the ring? Uh, I'm ready, let's go. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Nervous line delivery there. We'll make you regret signing up. God, she's got an ugly mug, hasn't she? Initiate round. Break through yellow shields with control spells like the levitation spell Leviosa. Target lock R3 lets you track enemies without aiming. Use R to change targets for a lot. Oh, I, I just used Lumos on accident. I didn't mean to. I kind of feel bad for these two, they're just getting battered. Oh. Victory, that was quite easy. I, I may or may not. Like I may or may not have forgotten to block a few times, but we move. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Thank you very much. Hope to see you back here again. Quest complete, cross ones, round one, challenge unlocked, complete side and relationship quests. 108 experience, half of level three, complete side relationship quests, one of three. Nice and uh, simple stuff. We're in the clock tower, I believe, currently. Which is pretty cool. But yeah, that is a, that is a simple mission. Simple side mission that um, we've beaten. We've beaten, we've beaten it. Right. Weasley after class. Professor Weasley wants to see me in a classroom which is off the Transfiguration Courtyard located between the Library Annex and the Astronomy Wing. Hopefully she has a word on replacing my lost supplies. Uh, we'll have a look at challenges and stuff later on. For now, let's have a look. Next time you need a partner for Cross Swans, don't hesitate to call on me. Cheers, Sebastian, mate. Big up to you. Just wait till I've grown a bit. Then we'll see how well you do. Mate, you look semi-grown up already. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Yeah, I would too. I slapped you. I slapped you. Right, let's go to the Transfiguration Courtyard then. Right, uh, yeah, so I'll try and... Now we've got some time to wander around. Uh, I guess I'll tell you a bit about myself. So obviously, yeah, my name is Brad. Um... I am just, the only reason I wanted, really wanted to start YouTube was because I just wanted this little thing to do on the side. Maybe grow one day, maybe a video will be found. As I said, my main goal right now is to just get a view. Obviously, I've got a one view on each video, which is my own, just to make sure the video went okay. But I want some views, like just even if it's one or two views per video, that would be nice. And to just build myself up as a YouTuber as I go along. Um, I've always wanted to do a Let's Play channel to be honest with you, it's always been, I guess, something that I've grown up with. Uh, I used to always grow up with the Rad Brad as a YouTuber. Um, still watch him now um, for some place, for, 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 for some games. But to tell you the truth, the only reason I stopped watching him was because I grew up and realised I don't like spoilers. 
So, um, oh, hello. We've got to stick to my immersion. I just broke the immersion by sprinting down the stairs. Um, it's kind of creepy. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I stand up, I, nowadays I'm just happy playing things blind. Obviously, I have got a blind. This is, in a way, a blind let's play, but I have got my own profile, which I'm nowhere near completing the game, by the way, which I am going for a completion, because I am more of a completionist. But I also do enjoy just playing through the main story um, and getting the story done, not as soon as possible. I don't like to rush, but I like to, I don't want to have to wait hours and hours and hours. Transfiguration Courtyard, I don't want like, everything spoiled, to me, spoiled for me, like right off the bat. Right, I do know there is one here, so we're going to do it. Field Guide page. Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumours of the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan. This is assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knights in spite of himself. Third experience, three level three. Complete. Uh, three of eight uh, things. Right, so yeah, let's go talk to uh, the uh, professor. Oh, we got another transfiguration now? classroom. Mate, there's so many places to just find throughout this castle. It's crazy, you know. Right, let's begin this quest. Meet Professor Weasley in the transfiguration classroom. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Come on, no, Professor. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Uh, Professor Ronan mentioned it. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Uh, what can you tell me about the potion shop? Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Uh, okay, so there is an Ollivanders here. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. What's a spellcraft? I've even heard of that. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I have never been with Sebastian, so I'll say Sebastian, I think. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? 
A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Lovely. I've had a butterbeer in real life and it was very, very, very sweet. Quest complete, Weasley after class. New quest available. Report to Professor Ronan. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignment of types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with a new spell. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm of Power, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. So, um, next time, hang on a second, what have we got? We've got, oh, that's locked. It actually requires Repair. So we've got to do Professor Ronan's assignment. Okay. Uh, any gear? Nope. Inventory? Nope. We have got a collection. Another rev, 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 revelio page. Well, I click game. Oh, there's two of them, that's why. And challenges. Did we unlock a challenge? Oh, complete silent relationship quests and complete main story quests. Okay. Right, CEO. Right, I think it's fair to say this is where I'm going to call it. I know it's been a bit of a short episode, I think. And it's a bit of a really nice dead to you, time to end the, uh, end the session, but I've got some private stuff I've got to do. So if you did come across this video uh, and did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like and I will catch everyone in the next video. Bye-bye.